To the lakeshore now where high water levels have property owners looking for ways to fight back against devastating erosion. Today we caught up with a company coming up with some solutions. News 8's Kyle Mitchell shows us the challenges they're facing new tonight. Engineers say there's a lot of options that you can use to help protect your home from erosion, but not every option is a good fit for every homeowner. The power of Lake Michigan Wave should never be underestimated, and with high water levels, the devastation can be even greater. Greg Wakeham, founder of the waterfront engineering and design firm Edgewater Resources, says one place you can really see the change in water levels from a year ago is at Silver Beach in St. Joe. Instead of the water being right up here next to the sidewalk, that water would have been 75 to 100 yards further out. The company helps property owners review their options if erosion is posing a major threat. And now you're seeing armor stone in the foreground here, the big stone out in the water. And then further in the distance, you'll see that steel sheet pile, the vertical wall there that looks kind of like a Z shape. Another method they use is to place large stones on a slope. It also absorbs and actually dissipates a lot of that wave energy so that it doesn't actually bounce back off. So that's why we use that the most. While he says the lake levels naturally cycle, he expects new records will be set for the year. Normally we went up and down over this sort of five to 15 year period. What the climate projections are calling for now is that we'll see that up and down be much more volatile. The mild winter temperatures are also having an impact. We normally have a lot of ice cover and that keeps the wave action from hitting the shore. Um, and since that's not happening, we're seeing much more erosion. Last month, Lake Michigan broke the water level record for January by more than three inches. Levels are forecasted to rise this summer. Way Camp says there will eventually be relief. We're going to go back down. Five, five, eight years from now, it won't surprise me if we're back down to the water levels we saw in 2013, 14, 15. For the latest forecast on lake levels from the Army Corps of Engineers, we've posted a link on woodtv.com. In St. Joe, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.